Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 10 of Test Drive Unlimited 2. We're in this episode, we're at the house here, and we are going to head to the garage, because, yeah. Uh, so I went a little crazy with exploring roads in between episodes. Turns out the Subaru STI is very good at that. I drove this thing 200 plus miles. Well, also including partially the last episode, uh, but it was like still close to 200 miles overall. Uh, just exploring roads. So, we are going to be getting in this car. I still have a wreck to find near me, but I will do that in another episode. Which is... S I don't know what episode that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be in the future. Uh, so, what we're going to do... Oops. We're going to be going to spots for vehicles. I don't believe that... Why is it zero out of four? Hold on, I want to see this, because... I want to see what's going on here. I'm confused. We're going to go to the used car dealership first off. And it looks like it can actually do what I want to do. So there's a bunch of cars in here. We got a Golf this time for 23k. We got the Hummer for 34.849. The Lotus Esprit for 13.8, which is nice, because it's usually like 15k. And a regular 270z. Uh, but the car I'm going to be choosing for this episode is going to be the Esprit S3. That's a fucking tongue twister. Uh, just because, you know, you know, I'm going to be using it. So, yeah. Oops. Let's get a look at the outside. Look at the data real quick. Makes 160 horsepower. Blisteringly fast. Yeah, whatever. And we will go ahead and buy this car. I uh, can't really change anything on it, which is fine. No more spaces in the garage. Oh, no. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks. Much appreciated. So now that we have a Lotus Esprit to use, I am going to go to the map. Make sure I still, still pause. For some reason, I think it's whenever you go in, like, some, like, certain buildings. Or, like, I guess you call them buildings. Uh, for some reason, whenever you exit them... You can't pause afterwards. And I don't know why. Uh, but we're going to do... It's somewhere fucking... I don't know where it is. There it is. We are going to be doing the C4 High Championship. Also, you can see all of the roads I discovered uh, after the last episode. There is a lot. I have like 75% or maybe maybe more of the total roads in Ibiza uh, discovered. There's still a bunch up here that I don't quite have. But I went kind of crazy with exploring them so the uh, STI might be here to stay for a little bit too for exploration purposes but we are going to be doing the championship high East Ibiza Ibiza I keep saying it wrong I don't know I guess I'm saying it wrong I don't know I don't know if there's like multiple ways to say it or something uh, we're gonna be doing the high championship which has a restriction of course on classic vehicles I wonder though about something hold on where's where vehicles that is not the correct one for me. I want to see if we can actually upgrade this thing. And the chances are is that we do have some more upgrades unlocked. Italian tuner. Lotus is none of those. Uh, if I don't have it unlocked, I'll just do it because, yeah. It is like level one. I don't think I have any more unlocked. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. German tuner. Uh, what we're going to do first off, actually, is just go to the car wash here because I said I was going to do this at the beginning of this episode, in the last episode, but we will go ahead and take a look at what the car wash does. And we'll go ahead and get the car dirty, why not? Just show that it works. Whee, driving off-road. Am I getting dirty? Is it, is it dirty yet? Am I dirty yet? Oh, it's starting to get dirty. Just drive around circles. That's how you do it. It would have been smart if I did this with a Subaru. But, whatever. Because I saw the Subaru very dirty. Oh god, in between episodes. Eh, yeah, screw it. That's good enough. So we can see the dirt on the car, obviously. That happens. So, whenever that happens, you can just go right up here to the car wash. Which, this is really just a gimmicky thing. It's not actually... You know. It's not necessary in the slightest. This is your vehicle dirty. You'll be able to get it washed here and make it really shine. Or really make it shine, even. Sure, why not? 
I haven't seen this in so long. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. Here's our car watch. <laughs> oh, I get to look around in the car. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my goodness, dude. I feel like this is copyrighted music, by the way. If I upload this and it gets yeah, this gets hit by copyright, I will cry. Test drive unlimited two. I don't know if it just oh, I guess it does just stop. Now my car is clean, and I got a little bit of a show at it. Maybe me talking over it stopped it from getting hit by copyright. Uh, so that's a car wash, and my car is like super shiny now. It looks like holy shit, it looks like it's like extra shiny compared to usual. All right, now, now. We will actually take on the thing that I wanted to take on for this episode, which is the high championship for East Ibiza. Well, it's whenever you want, Miami. It's recording. Well, there's no point in obsessing over this defeat. Minor setback, trivial in the long run. Big news is that my new clothing line, Be Miami, is coming soon. Oh, Daddy will be so proud of me. She Ciao, said, everybody. Daddy. I'm off to do some shopping. <laughs> okay then, what a great cutscene. I fucking love it. So we have six challenges to do as per usual. Uh, I'm gonna hope that the game doesn't crash during any of these because that would make me sad. Uh, but we'll start out with a little race here up in the northeast corner of what we're doing. And let's go. And as I mentioned, of course, I do want to use a different this car in every different episode. In so, swing. hence why we got the Esprit this time high. instead of Who the Delta. And I have it set up to use almost every car in the game. Everyone I was interested in will be used, at least. Along with a few others that I kind of like, was like, oh, I need another car. And, you know, it just kind of happens that way sometimes. And we'll see how good our Lotus is. Ha, uh, pop-up headlights. Uh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, Stuart. Oh, God. Oh, no. Please don't crash. Okay. I didn't crash. And then, of course, the inside, which you saw a little bit of in the, uh, the car wash there. Very nice. I do appreciate that there's a couple, like, weird older cars like this in this game. Not a whole lot of games that have a an Esprit this old, specifically. Usually a lot of them are, like, V8 Esprits or... Uh, at least like the mid 90s ones. Ah, no! God damn it. Shit might be a little tougher, surprisingly. Wow, progressing through the game makes races harder? I would have never guessed. Oh, that Mustang's gonna have a real low top speed. I remember it having like a barely over 100 mile per hour uh, top speed. So, if we get a long straight, I think Miami's done. Somehow this car is like almost out accelerating her as well. I don't know. Uh, make sure I don't spin it. There we go. And we are in first. My back itches. I'm going to fix that real quick. While we have a straight here. Uh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, there we go. Okay. And we'll get a nice chunk of change out of this championship as well. I can't remember how much that last one gave me overall. I don't know if it was more or less than this, because this is 65k. Doesn't seem like a lot, considering I've seen 70k and more. <laughs> or no. Yeah, I haven't seen. I don't know, dude. I don't know what I have seen and haven't seen. You think I remember things? <laughs> I don't remember anything in my life. There's also no red line on the tachometer of this car, so I can't really tell when I'm going to hit the rev limiter, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Let's see. Oh, I see. It wants to go all the way up to 7K. The controller does start to vibrate once you get close to the rev limiter, which is nice. Specifically on cars like this, you can't see the red line. You don't have a good point of reference of where the rev limiter is.
I discovered all this area. I remember doing this. It was kind of a pain. You'd be surprised how much of a pain it is to get these little like side roads that go in between two bigger roads. It's very hard to like figure out which way you want to attack them. But there we go. There's our first race done. We are, of course, in first. Oh. Miami got in third. Interesting. Ten points. Blah de blah de blah. Replay. I actually think this game has pretty good replay cameras, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to some other games I've played, I think that these are definitely at least a little bit of a step up. Uh, I like how there's a button to give up the championship, too. I don't really know how that works or why that's a thing. I realize you could do this. A championship contains several... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. We're doing this race next. That even looks like a road that I haven't discovered yet, maybe. It's possible. I didn't realize how time-consuming... Well, I did kind of realize how time-consuming the uh, discovering of roads would be, but holy shit, dude. I've spent 14 hours now, I think, playing this game, and I think six, maybe, are actually, like, recorded episodes. Six of those hours. So, oh god, the fucking deltas are so fast off the line. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's taking a very long time to discover all the roads. I will be able to get it done, though, at least, so we'll see what happens whenever I do that. I actually don't know what happens whenever you discover all the roads of an island in, in this game. Chris, come back here, you bitch. You better slow down a little, at least, please. I beg of you. Oh, oh. Don't fuck me over. Thank you. Go, Esprit. I think you're turbo spree? I think. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about Esprits. All I know is that I drove a, a V8 twin turbo Esprit when I worked at the car dealership years ago. That was fun. They, those cars, like, they're rated at like 350 horsepower. It felt like a lot more than 350 horsepower. And I, I don't think that the car was modified at all. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So it was, uh, it was ridiculous to say the least. Very fun, very fun. I'm sure very expensive if it breaks too, but you know. That's not a me problem, because I didn't buy the car. <laughs> huh. Maybe I have discovered this road, I don't know, dude. I have zero idea. Oh, yep, I have not discovered this road because I discovered a bike dealer, which is something I hadn't done before. So there are bikes in this game, but I don't really plan to use them because I have no interest in it, basically. Uh, I'm sure there will probably be like a side mission or something, or at least one or two, that use the bikes, because the DLC events go with the DLC vehicles, basically. Uh, but on my own, I, I, I'm not a bike person. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I do not really care about bikes at all. So we'll stick to, the, we'll stick to four wheels, basically. Look at that building. I'm gonna win. Top speed of the car is apparently 138 or so. Oh, 139. Maybe 140? No, nope, not quite. Damn it. Oh, well. 25 hundo buccarinos. Very nice. I am ahead by four points now, which is fantastic. Make sure the game saves before it crashes again. Uh, I'm gonna actually do this time challenge next. I'm gonna go just like from, basically from the northeast to the southwest. That's the plan at least. 3.8 miles, let's go. Get ready I really do appreciate that the game saves so often. Of with, uh, with how much it crashes, it's very nice uh, having recent save points. Clock. The only thing that you really don't have recent save points on, unless you actually do it yourself, is if you are just like exploring roads or just driving around. Uh, if you go into any buildings, it saves. If you pause, it saves. But if you don't do those things, uh, it will not save. So you have to make sure to at least, like I just hit the pause button, honestly. 
Because it saves as soon as you hit the pause button, so... It's pretty useful. It's not even for its intended purpose, but whatever. You can never save your game too many times, is what I think. I am ahead, which is fantastic. I guess maybe I'll try and find the, uh, I guess it's probably just like European cars or something, uh, tuner for British cars and stuff. Because I do plan to use some British cars in the future, so it would be nice to have some upgrades. <clears throat> oh boy, this looks fun. Uh, Oh, shit. Don't go off the road. Please. Eh. Oh, shit. I'm going off the road. I have one off the road. Eh. Make it up the hill. Eh. I didn't even look at the time difference. I'm probably fine. I was over a second ahead before, so we should be fine. Go fast! Top speed! Yeah, 138, 139, 140! 143, 144! Oh, almost 145. Close enough. Alrighty. And there's that. Another 10 points for me. I am now 11 points ahead, which is fantastic, and we'll continue to this, a race. So it's two races and a speed champion, or speed challenge, okay. Okay, can do, chief. Alright, let's just start, why not? We find our competitors at the starting line wow. for what promises to be an intense race. Good voice line. I've only heard it eight times so far, <laughs> if not more. I try to not pay attention, basically. Go! Damn you, Lancia. We do have three laps on whatever this track is. I was actually just discovering this part, like, at the end of my, uh... My little session last night with, uh, oh god, discovering roads. This was one of the last areas I did, actually. It's fine. I'm more thorough. Oh, it's way more thorough if you actually just go out and do it yourself instead of waiting for the game to put you in a place. Eh, uh, we're good. I just realized something. Hmm. I don't know how it's going to work. <clears throat> so maybe I'll do something about it before I get to that part. Don't mind me, just saying out loud about what's going to happen at the end of this episode because something that isn't the championship is going to be at the end of this episode. Ooh. Maybe something like a rival race, a one-on-one. -on -one. We'll get there when we get there. Don't you worry, we'll get there. I swear on it. I am quite far ahead. I thought this shit was getting harder. Not, not really. I just had a bad start to the first race, I think. It happens. It's fine.
Oh yeah, also I did get an achievement on Steam during the last, uh, or during the, uh, the road discovering session. It was something for like hitting a bunch of signs or something. So, I could look at that sometime later in this episode. I think there might be an achievement at the end of this episode actually. Don't quote me on that because I don't actually remember, but there might be. Maybe. Oh god. Oh god. We're good. Ish. We're good. Don't spin your wheel, please. One more lap. Hey. I like the sound of that. Every now and then I can come up with something to say, you know? That just kind of goes along with whatever I'm trying to do. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It just happens. I want to go to interior view for a bit. Because, yeah, there is actually a yellow and red line, or yellow section with a red line at the end of it on the tachometer of this car. But they didn't put it on the heads-up display for some reason, which is strange to me. Ooh, squeaky brakes. Oh, God. <clears throat> I still love the heads-up display looking like the, the car's actual gauges. That is one of my favorite little aspects of various games from around this era. Well, some games. It was mostly before this, actually. Because you had this, you had TDU-1, you had uh, Project Gotham Racing 4, at least. I don't remember if 3 had it or not. It's been so long since I've played 3. Such a nice little touch. I fucking love it, dude. And there we go. There's another race down. How many by 13 points now? Miami is half of my points. Ooh, that was a big drink of water. All right. <clears throat> you know what's gonna be great is if I'm, I, I do the speed challenge last. Oh, it is a, a speed trap. Okay, we'll do this. I thought it was one of the speed challenges where you have to drive at a certain speed and above to get points. I don't know. I don't know which is which. I don't know what I'm doing. It's Live from Solar Test? Town and That's the me. Starting line People call me Test all the time. Speed trap challenge. It's time to no, see which of our test. competitors test has real guts. Not me. Hello, I am on the rev limiter, by the way. I'm like, why is that car just revving its engine so much? I'm like, oh, that's me. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I got more roads to discover around here. I forgot about that book. So you don't have to follow the uh, specific numbers, like they are currently not doing, uh, for the speed traps here, but I don't know. I'll go I'll go number by number. Why not? I feel like they're doing it for a reason, because the, the second checkpoint there is... Uh, what are they doing? Where are they? I have no idea where they are. All right, what do they got for two? 75? Yeah, it's a fucking bastard. That's I actually went faster going the other direction. What the hell? All right, uh, I should have went to the left for five actually. I think. Oh god. Hello, gamers. Oh, tiny classic jewel. Look at that. I'm a little low on that one. And I go past here again. I'm just going by going by numbers, you know. I like to count. That was slower. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. So what I could do, actually, is go down to 5 down here, and then go backwards to hit 4 at a higher speed. Hello, Stuart. God damn it, you fucking idiot. Why are we going the different directions? Why couldn't you fucking follow the numbers? I hate it here, dude. I like that they just, like, go off the road to turn around here. That's kind of funny. Alright. I have the highest speed on a lot of those. Alright, let's go back to, uh... Hello, you gotta turn around? Yes, you are. Adam. Ah! Don't hit me. We'll hit four a little faster for sure. Oh god, please stop hitting me. This is a very strange one, because it's not like... Nothing's in order, basically. 
Alright, what else do I have to get go faster on? Three and five? I can get three probably. Yeah, maybe not. Go! Go! I might be able to hit this actually. Hold on. There we go. Alright, 68. What about 83? I went the same way that they did. How did how'd they fuck that up so bad? I won, by the way. If it comes to us as a surprise to anybody. Alright. I won by 13 miles per hour. 12 and a half. 50 points total. Can we do this as a sweep? Probably. Oh, somebody hit the uh, the first one faster than I did. By like 6 miles per hour. Alright. <clears throat> Ibiza Seaport. I keep wanting to say Ibiza. But like... I don't think that's right. They say Ibiza. I don't know. I... I don't know enough about Spain. I don't know hardly anything about Spain. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I know they have Sayats, and that's about it. Room, room, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. And we shall go. Hit! Goddamn Chris Wilder with your fucking all-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, the... The off-road dudes have their all-wheel drive cars because they can't drive anything that isn't all-wheel drive because they're off-roaders, you know. <clears throat> I'm passing you, by the way. You are being left in the dust, my friend. You know, it's funny, I looked at the time and was like, wow, this is going to be like a, a slightly shorter episode. And it's like, I'm almost a half an hour of recording time. Eh, it might be shorter. Like I said, there is stuff to do after the championship, or at least one thing to do. Uh, but, uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Go fast! Big fast! This seems very familiar. I feel like I've raced through here before. Or I've just driven through here and I'm stupid. I don't know. Hey, look, we're discovering more roads. Let's go. I think. Looks like we are. Well, once we turn left, we will be. Making my job easier. Thanks, game. Much appreciated. Ah! Stop that! Go, a little Esprit. This is a turbo car. I still don't know if this is a turbo or not. It just says Lotus Esprit. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Careful. Careful. We're good. Bruh! Why did it have to do it, like, 780 yards from the fucking finish line? I hate it here, dude. So that was a very greatly timed crash. We are back in the middle of the race because I figured I didn't need to show everything off. Getting up to this point, basically. <sighs> Why does the game have to crash at, like, the worst times? I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm actually not that angry. I'm just kind of disappointed. Oh, please don't crash again. I saw you you froze there. Please don't do that. I don't like that. Just let me finish this championship, please. That's all I want to do in life right now. That's my only goal. Ah! Okay, we're good. Discover this road again. Uh... Oh god. Just a little bit further and we'll be back to where we were. Actually we are pretty much back to where we are right where we were right now. Uh oh no okay. Stop freezing! 
I don't want you to freeze. There we go. That's finally done. Back up to 235k. Got 67,500 from winning all the events as well as that final race. Miami Harris came in fourth. Came in third overall. Lost by over 30 points. Congratulations. And we'll see what happens next. It looks like Miami has found someone to give her a real challenge. That's me. And she's none too happy about it. What an incredible victory. And there we go. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. It's Miami. You got lucky in the last championship, and now I bet you Mobile think you're special. Well, how about a small oh. challenge between the two Ooh, of us? Ooh, a small challenge. Oh. Okay, change my GPS target. You are driving in uh, the direction. God, why is this game Turn freezing around, so bad impossible. all of a sudden? Uh, so there is the duel that we will be doing also in this episode, but... The problem is, she was like, oh yeah, I'll put my car at stake. Uh, so I, I, can, I can win her car if I win. The problem is that I don't have any garage spaces left. And the other problem is, is I don't know how to sell cars in this game. I think I might have an idea. There might be a way to do it in the used car dealership. But I don't know. Um, can I talk to fucking buddy over here? I don't... Gage has 10... I don't care about Frim. I don't care about the treasure hunting either. I'm not doing that yet. Oh, there we go. I was right! Holy shit, I can't believe it. Uh, so... I am going to sell... We'll actually sell two cars here. We're going to sell the Brera and the Camaro. Like I said, I really appreciate the Subaru being... I hear a dog barking. Uh, I appreciate the Subaru being very good at discovering roads. Because it can go on off-road as well as on-road. Perfectly fine with no issues. And it's also decently quick and whatever. Uh, oh, this car actually does have upgrades on it. Okay. So, zero. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll sell those two and get some money back. As well as have some space in my garage now for when I fucking destroy Miami Harris and get her car. You know? Uh, oops. And we will go ahead and do this. I would put this in another episode, but I just... With... <laughs> With the fact that this game already has like half hour plus long episodes How every episode. The hell did you beat me? She said the hell word. Oh my god, you bitch. I yeah, but I just, I I just figured I'd put it in like the episodes with the uh, the championship that I unlock it from, so you know. And I don't think that this is like a uh, a pink slip situation. I think this is simply you win, you win her car. Uh and it's, that's pretty much it. So I am not extremely afraid of the game crashing, but I am nervous-ish. I don't want my game to crash during this. But this should pretty much be cake because that's the way this game is. And yeah, we will go ahead and finish this very, fairly short little race here. I didn't actually look at how many miles it was. There's a road I haven't discovered over there. Damn, what's up with that? That's fucked up. Oh god, please. But yay! We finished our first high championship, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there's two championships per class in this game. You have the regular championship and then the high championships. I don't know why they're called high. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Maybe they were high whenever they thought of it. I don't know. But, yeah, that's basically it. That's why I'm trying to use all of the cars, like, in other episodes, like the side missions, or uh, whenever you find the, the treasure hunt stuff, I'll be using different cars then, so on and so forth, because there's not really a whole lot of opportunities to use different cars in this game. Most of the time is spent doing one championship, or... Uh, well, yeah, just one one championship. That's really it. Cause you know this took half an hour, so we're, all, we're at 40 minutes now. But you know, it's just how I roll. I like to use different cars. I like to use as many cars as I can throughout a game. That is my fucking motto right there. 
And there we go. The game didn't crash, luckily. Don't worry, Mikael. <laughs> the fucking Chihuahua. Mikael. <laughs> That's great. I, you win the Challenger's car. Let's go. We got a Mustang. And that is why I haven't driven the Mustang yet, because we just get one. Uh, so we got 60 points from that. I missed the fucking thing from it. I can't pause, by the way. Uh, actually, I wonder if it's because of that that I can't pause. Or, no, I have to drive somewhere. But I still can I should still be able to pause. I don't know. At the next intersection, but I guess we gotta drive this left. Mustang somewhere. I don't know where we're driving it exactly. But we're driving it somewhere. Turn left. Is it to the used car dealer? It might be, actually. I don't know why I remember that being like that. But I think that's how it goes. I think we drive this. Please don't do that to me. Ow. What is it having me drive to? Your destination is two miles away. What is it having me drive to? Because I could just fucking fast travel there. What am I... What am I... What's... What is this? What is here? Why am I driving to this location? Game. Hello? Why did you give me... What the fuck is this? Because it's not the racing school. I don't know. It doesn't matter because I already did everything I need to do. Uh, so that's basically that. And we now have a 68 Mustang Fastback in pink because that's what Miami Harris liked. Uh, ooh, we do get some good money off of other championships. We'll get those later. Anyways, thank you all very, very much for watching this episode of TDU2. And I will catch you in the next episode where we do something different. I don't, I think I know what it is. I think it's, I, I think I know what it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.